Yo, what's good, Tristan? And Tris fam! Today, we're gonna be reacting to Miley Cyrus. I got so high that I saw Jesus. I think this, if I'm not mistaken, is about her appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast, which by the way, I would love to do a reaction to. If you guys would like to see me do a reaction to that, let me know that down in the comments. I know I'm late, but I feel like there's a lot of good information there about her voice and her vocal journey that I think we could have a lot of fun going into. But before we get started, be sure to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. These are the places that you wanna go if you want to recommend me a new video to react to next. Let's go, let's check this out. This is an MTV Miley Cyrus backyard session with Noah Cyrus. I've never heard anything from Noah Cyrus, actually. I know a lot of people are gonna think that's crazy, but. I got so high that I saw Jesus. That's her sister? He said it's all gonna be okay. All right. You just need me in your heart. Tennessee whiskey and love. I got so high that I saw Jesus. Is that her backyard? What does she live in the goddamn Amazon jungle? Holy sh. Yeah, they talk about the rivers running dry. Their voices are so different. How pretty soon there won't be anyone to love to turn to wine like a drunkard at the wedding. Ooh. Blindly raising on the getting so I'm a getting high. I got so high that I saw Jesus. That's harmonies, though. He said it's all gonna be okay. Ooh. You just need me in your heart. Tennessee whiskey and love. I got so high that I saw Jesus. Miley's turn? Yeah, Joseph lost his job to a machine And Mary lost her mind to lines of cut You can't see it The angel of the eye On a bond the whole thing down Ooh. I'm on a bond one down right now I got so their voices are so different. It's gonna be really cool to go into the differences between the two. Uh, we'll do that towards the end of this. I didn't see that coming. So I didn't see it coming, but I, I, I knew that her high notes would sound that way based on how her low notes were sounding. We'll talk about that. I'll be more specific with you guys because I know some of y'all be like, yo, he's peaceful as shit. You didn't know. Trust me, I knew. <laughs> he said, fathers, don't forsake your sons. There's so much kingdom left to come. Just let it fill your lungs before you leave. Oh. I got so high She's really good. I, saw Jesus. I got so high that I saw Jesus. Ooh, that was lit. All right, so we're going to talk about the differences between these two singers. So, Miley Cyrus's favorite vowels now that she's older, this wasn't the case when she was a kid, but her voice has changed and her preferences and her style have changed as she's aged. Her favorite vowels are O and E. <laughs> Very specific, O and E. You'll hear exactly what I'm talking about as we go through this. Her sister, on the other hand, doesn't go for those big metallic sounding vowels. Her sister prefers to keep things more chill. Miley's O and E tend to go a little bit more spread. Her sister keeps things a little bit more chill. And when you keep things a little bit more this, like this and chill, things sound a little bit more neutral, which is why in like choirs and stuff like that, they have you sing this way. 
because it makes things a little bit more neutral sounding. If everyone did this, oh, da, 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 it's a little bit crazy. See how Miley sings though. But anyway, you'll hear exactly what I'm talking about right now. Pretty soon there won't be anyone to love to turn to one like a drunkard at the wedding. She's also doing this. So she's keeping things more neutral, but she's also lifting her soft palate. So it would be like a, like a drunkard at the wedding. So there's she's doing a lot of work in the back of her throat, but not really doing a lot of work here. Miley's the exact opposite. The angels are the air. But the angels are the air. Her mouth too. There's more of this, right? Her sister would be like, but the angels are the air. Miley. But the angels are the air. Right? <laughs> her sister's high notes are crazy here. I wanna, I wanna hear those. Her cr voice is crazy. So also when you keep your voice in this space where things are a little bit more neutrally and things are a little bit more calm and relaxed, it does tend to give you, tend to help you get into more of a mix with your voice in that I can't even tell if she's in her head voice or her chest voice in a lot of sections here because it's just so well blended. And sometimes it hurts so much to look like Moses and the burning bush. She does something different here, actually. Her voice is so restrained. Like she, it's almost like she wants to go where Miley goes, but she's like, no, 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 no. We're staying right here in this nice refined place. Uh, it's super interesting to hear. Cause it's kind of almost going there, right? Look like, Moses. like Moses at the burning bush. But it's not all the way like Miley does. The burning bush. To turn oh my God. What the f***? I like that. He said, fathers, don't forsake your sons. The way that Miley sings her low notes, too. And I, I really don't mean to mean this in a disrespectful way at all. Like, hopefully nobody takes this the wrong way, because that's not how I mean it. But typically speaking that's not how women tend to sing low notes not that there's anything wrong with it or there's anything gendered or anything like that it's just how things tend to go miley actually kind of digs into some of her vocal fry as she does those low notes the only time that you hear someone dig into their low notes uh, like that is like men in country or opera singers da, 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 da. but miley digs into that part of her voice ha ha <laughs> so uh, let's see he said, he said, you could imagine that, like a male country singer doing that, right? I know every engineer on every train. Now that you can do it, any gender can do whatever the f they want. It's just something that's interesting about her voice. Here she's kind of pulling it back. Her voice is in a similar place, but instead of singing those more eh and uh, she is like choosing, she's closing things down a little bit in terms of the sound and singing more ease. You just need me in your heart, I well, I guess that's also the vowels of the song. So it's also good songwriting because she doesn't really have to change anything. She's just singing the, the normal vowels. Sometimes singers will change their vowels towards an E in order to soften something. Like if I'm going, uh, 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 E. It's going a little bit in that direction because it can soften things down and pull them back. But in this case, it's just part of the songwriting. So it just kind of works. It kind of just happens naturally. She doesn't have to really change her vowels in any way. I mean, just so you hear the different characteristics of the vowels, the G and the Zus. Jesus! Different vowels have completely different sounds. You could sing the E um, like you sing the uh, Jesus, you could do it the same way, or she can go Jesus and keep everything as the E, but she's she's going Jesus. Anyway, it's very specific. That's a very important thing. And that's something that, by the way, you're only gonna find on this channel, revolutionaries over here. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed my reaction to this. 
I hope that there's more Miley Cyrus in the future. I love seeing her back. I sorry I haven't been reacting to everything that she's been doing. It's tough to keep up with everything that's going on. But anyway, hopefully you guys all enjoyed my video. Be sure that you check me out on my socials. Subscribe, of course. And until next time, peace out, y'all. <laughs>